What's up, Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy, along with my training partner and friend, Paul the Reaper Banashik. And today we're going over the Superman to the Loki. So I love this combination because with the Superman, A, it's a great setup off a roundhouse kick if you land it a couple times. And if you land the Superman, you can really snap your opponent's head back and catch them off guard. And secondly, if you miss the Superman, or even if you hit the Superman, the low kick is a great follow-up just with the way the body mechanics work. So I used this in my most recent fight. I got asked to break it down, so that's what we're doing today. So first things first is in order to throw the Superman successfully, you need to be throwing some kicks. If you just go balls to the wall, throwing the Superman without any type of setup, it'd be really easy for him to see and just back up and evade, right? So when you throw the Superman, I'm gonna throw from my right side for this example, I lift my leg up. And this motion right here, it's gonna look like a kick of some sort. Either it can come out to the side like a roundhouse, or it can come straight up like a teep, depending on what you wanna build off of. If I land in my rear teep a bunch of times, I'm gonna use the straight forward motion to snap this back. If I've thrown the right roundhouse a couple times, then I'm gonna throw the outside motion into the Superman. So it really depends on what was working earlier on in the sequence or the fight, okay? So I'll do uh, the, the teep for this instance. So I'm gonna lift my leg up, okay? From here, I'm gonna shoot my leg back. And as I do that, my body is naturally gonna be coming forward, right? And as I do that, this, this is why it's called Superman, you feel like flying like Superman right here, right? So from here, I'm gonna snap, and as I snap, I'm gonna skip my front leg forward, okay? And now my whole body weight is shifted onto my left foot, and my left shoulder is pivoted over here, or rotated over this way. So it's gonna be really easy just to rotate my body, and as I rotate and snap my body, I have a really easy low kick right there, okay? So I'll do this again, slow motion, I lift up, I snap back, and then from here, I'm just gonna counter rotate into the So in my fight, I threw it as a southpaw. And it was after I landed some leg kicks. And so this way, whenever I lifted my leg up, my opponent would react to that. He actually saw the Superman coming, I kind of telegraphed it, but I was able to follow up with a really powerful low kick. So as I threw the Superman, I snapped this back. He evaded it, but his legs were still open. And he went to counter with a, a cross, I think. And as he countered with the cross, I brought my head off the center line as I dug down into the low kick, all right? So do that again. I lift up, I miss, he reaches back. And as he throws that cross, I slide to the inside and have my right hand there to kind of guide and uh, block any type of counters that he's throwing, okay? We'll do this one more time for the south ball. I snap, and then come straight into it. Once you drill it enough times, it comes really naturally. At first, it might feel a little awkward, this whole motion, but once you land here, your body's naturally gonna be rotating. So it makes super easy sense to just come across with that low kick, okay? So do it once more. Boom, boom. 